anointing <laughs> fall on me. Touch my hand, oh, yeah. my mouth and my heart. Go high with it, go high. Fill my life, Lord. <laughs> Every part. Come back, come back, come back. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing <laughs> fall on me. Wow. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is your girl, Adapt Who Inspires. I'm here to bring to you guys a motivational video in the terms of relationship and I have my wonderful brothers first Tayshawn Ian and Joshua the yeah, Josh the Josh wow. <laughs> so we are <laughs> they're here to answer some questions that I have and please just you want to stay to the end stick around and this is going to be hilarious all right I'm not gonna make this intro too long so I'm just gonna go right into the questions, shall we, gentlemen? Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. Let's go. First question. <laughs> mm. <laughs> what are the obstacles you find that single men experience, and how do you deal with them? Mm. It doesn't matter. Anybody can go first. Mm. Why do you want to wow, get wow, each other? Wow, 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 What are the obstacles you find that single men experience and how do you deal with them? I mean, I can state obvious ones like, you know, like temptation and stuff. I think, but I think like another one, uh, kind of switching up like jealousy kind of almost. Among I mean, other men? Like for me, like for me, like being Got jealous it. of other people who are like in relationships. In relationships. You know okay. what I'm saying? Like you don't know, you only, you'll kind of only see like the, like, the feel good, affectionate parts, and like that's kind of what you want. So you kind of get jealous, you know, when you see your man's all booed up, or your um, or siblings or friends all booed up, and you're like you like, oh snap, where, where my boo boo at? <laughs> where, where my girl at? <laughs> like you just thought. So I think that's the struggle, like learning to, and like learning to appreciate each season of your life, even being single. Got it. Like because you, so many times people spend being single longing to be in a relationship right. that they make i think like one thing you make a god out of the relationship you make it an idol you know what i'm saying so for me learning to really just be content and not allow jealousy to pull up okay and well i'll say a big obstacle for me um is just knowing you know who it is that you're supposed to be with you know a lot of times you spend so much time trying to find the right person to be in the right relationship and a lot of times, you know, people spend too much time and their focus gets pulled away from what's really important in life versus, you know, trying to be with a certain person or, you know, whatever the case may be. There's a lot of times people really come to that whole connection maybe a little too early, thinking they're supposed to be with someone and that's when they're the one they're supposed to be with. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of how I feel. Mm -hmm. So, Samra, what would you say, like, what's your obstacle? I would say that, I mean, for me personally, that's... That's been a thing where it's been on my heart, you know, a lot to try and make sure that, you know, who I'm with is the one I'm supposed to be with, who God has made me to be with. Not yeah. wasting your time. For and not wasting yeah. my time. Right. You know what I mean? Because yeah. you don't have time for that. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> you don't have time. You don't have time for that, bro. Okay. Take so, so, I probably have the same, that that would be my obstacle, the same as Ian's. Mm -hmm. But one that I also thought of that I, I think it took me a while to get here. Um, was like to get over the fear of rejection. Mm -hmm. um, I think I think yeah. that's a, I think that's a that's, big one for heavy. for a lot of guys. Um, knowing yeah. that by nature we're hunters, we're the, we're the pursuers anyway. Mm -hmm. And with any risk that you're going to take, you got to be able to expect that you're going to win some and you're going to lose some. And you got to be able to be comfortable with the fact that you're not going to be everybody's cup of tea. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you you, really, yeah. you you realistically want yeah. somebody that's going to like you for mm -hmm. who you are. And not mm -hmm. to fake, you know what I'm saying? You, you want to get rejected by the wrong, 
So hey, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, it makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> Say that again. <laughs> <laughs> definitely want to get rejected at all. Wow. Wow. You all want to make wow. you want to Yes. So, no counterfeits. Ladies, you heard this. Mm. No rejection. Reject me if you fake. <laughs> if you fake and reject me, please. <laughs> no rejection. Knowing the right person. Knowing the right person. Jealousy. And jealousy. Yeah. These are three most, these are really important. I'm sure they're. Amongst a bunch of them. Amongst, amongst, amongst a more. bunch. Did you hear this? <laughs> Moving on to the second question. Let's go. What is your ideal Proverbs 31? Without trying to be deep on it, it's um, that, yeah. mm. go, go, go ahead, okay. go into it. <laughs> go there. So, so, basically, just, just somebody in general that um, is humble enough to respect um, her husband's role um, as the leader of the family. Um, but also um, secure enough within their self to know that they have value too and um, offer your value when needed without trying to take your husband's manhood. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Um, I think I think that's that's something that gets, um, I guess, understated a lot. You know what I'm saying? Men want to still feel like the man at the end of the day. Yes. So if, if they got somebody that's basically trying to take that from them, then, you know what I'm saying, it's not going to go. Mm. Yeah, I would say that. Mm-hmm. Just being respectful of each other's roles. And I guess valuing yourself. Yeah, definitely value yourself because you definitely are important. <laughs> we definitely we need women, yeah. but we also need to also feel like the man too. Mm-hmm. One thing that came to my mind as Hishon was talking was just a woman that fears God. You know, mm-hmm. a woman that um, not someone saying she's afraid of God, but she has a respect for God and what it is that, you know, he can do for her, through her, with her. Um, a lot of times you, you go through those things in life, and you want someone who is a prayer warrior, who, who has all those characteristics um, that a Christian woman should have, you know what I mean? But you want to make sure that she is legitimately has the fear of God in her so that she's doing the right things in life. When I saw that question, I had to go read Proverbs 31. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, what, what, what is that even mean? Like, I got to rem- know what it means. And mm. like, when I was reading it, what I really realized is, one, let's not act like it doesn't talk about men in there and what men have to do. Hey, right, right, right. Yes, but sir, like in the from verses one through nine. But a thing I noticed about the virtuous woman was she basically was very independent and could like was set. I mean, she was set on doing a lot of things on her own. She did business on her own. That mm-hmm. said, she woke up um, at night to prepare for the family. Mm-hmm. Like um, that she would sell like the. Uh, I mean, she would sell clothes, all that. So one thing I like about it is just that. For me, my ideal Proverbs 31 woman is someone who has a relationship with God, confident in herself and who she is. And truth be told, doesn't only doesn't just need me. She doesn't need me, but she wants me. Yes. yes. You know what I'm saying? Like God doesn't need us. He wants us. Like he lo- he longs for us. Mm-hmm. And that kind of love like in fact is longing. So, I mean, she has a relationship with the Lord. She's not perfect, but she's definitely strong willed. Strong minded, she doesn't need me, but like the things that I do for her are just things that only make her walk even better. Mm-hmm. You know, so that I'm only like a person who's just motivating her and strength and moving her along, and she's doing the same for me. You know, yeah, this two bars, <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> a, lot, a lot of stuff happening a right lot. now, a whole lot going on. So, just to let you know. My brothers, they're single, yes. oh. and in case you haven't, fi- in case you haven't noticed, and these are just their perspective on what they expect from women, mm-hmm. correct? Because these are their perspective, not just in the worldly, um, not just what the word thinks, but also biblically, what God wants from a man and how God wants a man and a woman to have their relationship. So, mm-hmm. as we move on. Just bear that in mind, okay? Two more questions left. 